that sack, I swear he was right on time. Right on time. Little bitch, pussy, fat ass, fat, goddamn, she right on time. Right on time. Trap all day, took the purpose to the jeweler, dropped it right on time. Right on time. I want you dead at 12, my shooters right on time. Right on time. Plug came through with that sack, I swear he was right on time. Right on Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. Today, man, I am on my way to look at some more real estate. I'm going to look at two condos before I go to work today. So I'm going to meet up with Mandy, my real estate agent. We're going to check these places out. They are definitely a little farther from downtown. I kind of wanted to stay closer to downtown because I like being centralized, but it just is what it is, man. Like, I'm not trying to live in a shoebox and pay $200,000, you know, as you saw in the last vlog. So you can get a little bit more space, a little farther away though it is by one of the malls I frequent all the time so that will save me some time because I go to that mall all the time so that'll be okay I guess if the place looks as good as it does in pictures we'll see I think it's one of those places where people there's still someone living in it I hate going to look at places like that just because there's stuff all over and they got I just don't like other people's stuff being in the place when I look at it I just want it to be vacant so I can kind of see the vision with other people's stuff packed everywhere and crammed everywhere especially if it's messy I don't know it just makes it unattractive even if the place is all right that's just my preference I'm just bitching back at it again in, no GoPro today. I want to use the GoPro before just to have like some better angles because it gets it has that wide, that fish eye that wide angle. Where the hell is my real estate agent in the front of the building? I like walked around the completely the opposite way. Dang, the grass is a little. Long. Yeah, guess the HOA is being put to a good use, huh? Fine. I'm gonna do that every day. Just a little trip every single time. So long to the pain this heart is holding. What's wrong when the days we have are golden? Will you hold on while the world outside is frozen? Well, I know, I know, I know. We never really know. So hear me out. Don't put on the dad bod now. Oh, Living yeah. with the ant. Coming, coming here looking like me. Don't be doing that. Just don't eat before you go to bed. That's my problem. Eat too much before you go to bed? Yeah, I'll be hungry as much. Like midnight and then eat and then go to bed. Three o'clock in the morning, I'm starving. It was all good. It's about a week ago. About a week ago. Both yesterday and today we had another detective come by about the situation no with our customer in the parking lot. They were kind of upset that we didn't have cameras in the parking lot. And I'm like, wouldn't that be the property manager? Right. I was like, this ain't Walmart, bro. It's their yeah. building, yeah. I was like, Walmart have... owns that building. We don't, like, we don't that have building. a parking lot camp. We just pay rent, dog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, pretty much, I think T-Mobile only gives you about the stuff in the building. No doubt. Yeah, like, we don't care about anything in the parking lot. Well, if anybody stole anything, it'd be easier to identify the car. And I'm like, we good. Probably not that What's your name, sir? <laughs> I'm searching your stuff in the computer. He's got any warrants. 
All right, guys, we are back home. And first of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much for bearing with me, man. I have not been putting out a ton of content. It's been like a vlog a week, which has been awful. And I apologize to you. I'm getting back to work. I'm getting back in the swing of things. I'm looking at condos. We just put down an offer on the place you just looked at, man. I put down an offer praying that the owner accepts that and I can get up out of my aunt's crib and have my own place to live. As you can see, we're in, I don't even know what room this is. We're in a different room. It seems like every time I do a review, I'm in a different room just because I'm trying to figure out lighting and all that stuff and for this video we definitely need the best lighting possible so you guys can see how we're about to do this custom on the linen khaki nmds but yeah thank you guys again for your patience i should be hopefully getting back on a normal schedule again i should hopefully be able to get another vlog up this weekend as well i'm off all weekend because it is my birthday weekend my birthday's on monday so i'm going to be hanging out with friends uh just having a good time celebrating trying to enjoy life but i'm also going to try to get another vlog up for you guys in the process but with all that out of the way let's get into what you guys came for man the linen khaki nmds or the unstrapped of the linen khaki NMDs. Man, the much anticipated, the much requested. This is something you guys asked for. I can't even count so many of you guys asked for this one, so I'm really happy to bring it to you. And a huge shout out to the homie Ryan who actually sent me his pair. Size 11 and a half. My pair was 11 and a half as well, but as you know, they are no longer with us. So big shout out to the homie Ryan for sending his pair over. We're gonna unstripe these and then I'm gonna send them back. Now I've already done one of these shoes. I did it the other day and I must say, I didn't know if it was gonna look better or worse. And you guys are just gonna have to check it out for yourself, man. So here is what they look like with the stripes on. If you're unfamiliar with the linen khaki NMD, looks just like that. And here is, bang, how they look without the stripes, man. Overall, I think the shoe looks way better without the stripes. And the camera is actually picking up, like you can kind of see where the stripes were. That's definitely something that's just with the lighting in here and with the camera. In real life, if you knew it was there, you might be able to see, but it's it's not really that visible. It wasn't really visible at all on the white pair, but obviously this is a totally different pair. So this is all experimental, but overall, man, I think these look 10 times better than they did before. Also, Ryan, my bad, dog. I've, some of this uh, nail polish remover spilled on your box. So I'm really sorry about that. And I would offer you my box, but I don't have my box either, homie. So I'm sorry. Starting off, the things you're gonna need for this custom, man. This is probably one of the easiest customs. All you gotta do is have patience, take a little bit of time. Don't get overzealous with it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, man. I'm gonna give you everything you need. It's very, very simple. A lot of people had problems with the other pair. The glue was sticking there. They just, you guys did not take your time. Just watch closely, watch carefully, and I'll show you how simple it is. It is a very, very simple custom. First off, you need some nail polish remover maximum strength 100% acetone that's what I would recommend this is like 250 at the grocery store so that's the one I would go with next you need an exacto knife to cut the stripes get you a sharp exacto knife something like that get you some gloves these actually had to go buy a new pair because my other ones got wrecked in the fire as well but these are uh, just your standard these are can be found in the gardening section at Home Depot they were three dollars and ninety eight cents very cheap but they do have this like um, grippy kind of texture on them so it makes it easier to peel the stripes off that's what I use I've had success with them and then you're also gonna need some cotton balls to pour the acetone on to be able to saturate the stripes first off what we're gonna do we're gonna unlace the shoe that is important just to keep the laces out of the way I mean you don't want them hanging in there while you're trying to uh, pull the stripes off boom got the shoes all unlaced we're good. Now let's go ahead and put our gloves on. So first starting off, man, you're gonna get a cotton ball. And I basically just use a new one for each stripe. I just think that's the easiest way just to get the proper amount of acetone on there. Let it saturate, let it sit, let it break the glue down. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on there like that. Eh. Huh? You can start with whatever side you want. I start with the outside. And you're just going to soak the stripe with that nail polish remover. Just like that. You should see it get a little darker. Make sure it's very, very saturated. Then I'll go ahead and just get a little more. And then I just go ahead and do all the stripes on both sides. The key to this, this needs to sit on there for about five minutes before you start pulling the stripe away. Some people put it on there, they let it sit for a minute, they let it sit for 30 seconds. Then they start trying to peel the stripe away and the stripe peels off, but the glue underneath does not peel off. So then that creates this glue residue and it's just a super pain to get the glue off underneath if it doesn't come off with the stripe. So let it sit for about five to six minutes and that's actually optimal time. While we're doing the rest of these and while we're doing this stripe in the middle, you should be able to go back and peel it off right when you're done with all those. So we'll get another one. 
I'm just gonna do the exact same thing with all the stripes. And I get generous with it. I mean, I don't dump the bottle on there, but I definitely get generous with it. And as I do this stripe, I kind of go back and hit the other one again, just to, to not waste it. Now we got the third one going. And I would try as hard as you can to not touch this up here with the acetone because it will just kind of uh, peel the paint a little bit. So just try to be careful, not get too close to the lacing system up here. And then I go back and hit this one again, go back and kind of hit this one again, get the tops really good. And we're gonna go ahead and do the stripe across the front. Oh, you might wanna take the shoe tree out. I don't think it really matters, but I mean, it will get some acetone on it, but you might wanna take that out. Damn, this room's closed off. If you're doing it in a room that's closed off, you might wanna open a window, dog, because it is, I need a mask right now, it's getting to me. Whew, we gotta get some fresh air going through here. That's why it is maximum strength. So I did half the stripe of one cotton ball, and I'm gonna do the other half. Just make sure I get it real good. Oh, also another thing too, I saw people hit me up saying it dyed their shoes. Don't buy pink nail polish remover. Like just buy the regular standard, like 100% acetone, maximum strength. Like people were buying colored nail polish remover. Don't do that, dog, don't do that. Now we're on the last set of stripes. And you see, while I'm doing these other stripes, that glue is just breaking down on that side. So by the time I'm done with these, those should probably be ready to go. I'm ready to peel up. I'm trying to be as detailed as I can with these instructions because last time people said I wasn't that detailed. I thought I was, but maybe I wasn't. And I forget sometimes I'm dealing with a lot of you young bucks, no G unit. But this time I'm trying to give you guys as many details as I can so some of you have some success that maybe didn't have success last time. See how I kind of get this last one and then I just go over the other two real quick. And that's it, man. All the stripes are now saturated. We should be good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of test it a little bit. So we're gonna go back to the very first stripe we did, which is the top one on the outside. We're just gonna take our finger and kind of roll it along the top of the uh, stripe there. See, just kind of roll it along the top and just test it. Just see where we're at. See if it's breaking loose and see it is. It is kind of breaking loose there. Make sure the glue is attached. Make sure you're not just peeling off just the stripe. We don't want just the stripe. We want it to come off with the glue. And now once we got it started, it's peeling off. Kind of put your finger there to hold the prime knit down. And it's peeling off. I probably could even let this sit a couple more minutes because it is a little rough, but it is peeling off. And as we get down here, it really peels off easy. Done. There's no glue. There's no excess glue residue or anything on the shoe. It's all on the stripe. Let's go to our next one. Same thing, we're just gonna try to peel the top off a little. And like I said, these gloves really do help out, man. You don't have to have these, but they help out. Peeling right off. All the glue. Boom, right down to the boost. Third one. And I kinda just put my hand inside there as I'm peeling down, and then I'm holding the prime knit with that same hand that's inside so it's not stretching it out. And then boom, peels all the way down to the boost. No glue excess, all Gucci. Now that uh, stripe that goes across the middle is kind of still like, it's pretty on, it's still on there pretty tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again with some more acetone. And on this one, what you'll notice is if you just go back and forth right here, just like this, it almost starts to peel it away just by doing this. You see that? Now it's lifting up along both sides. It's just lifting up there. Maybe you do the same thing up here in the middle kind of loosen it up a little bit. Now we go back here and we should be able to rub a little bit on there and that'll start to really peel it up. You see that? And just make sure the glue is coming off with it. It is. Look at that. Now it's peeling right up. And then what I like to do is take the X-Acto knife at this point and just cut it in the middle or somewhere near the middle. And that way that just makes it easier to peel. This piece down here is all done on this side. And now we'll just go back and start peeling the rest of it off. And this is kind of rough, like it was, it was peeling off easier on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do acetone again and that'll just make it easier to peel off. I mean, I could have peeled it off just fine, but it was kind of pulling the prime knit a little harder than I would like. So this just loosens it up, just loosens up that glue. And now you can see, it should just peel right off super, super easy. There it is. Boom, easy, easy, easy. Now it's time to do these stripes. On this one, I started with the inside first. So that one's been sitting the longest. Same thing, just kind of start peeling at the top. You see how it's coming off a little bit? Just until you can grab enough, just make sure we got the glue, we do. Bang, next one. That one's still on there a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use a little bit more acetone. 
some of them peel off super easy. Some you got to kind of hit it with two coats. So don't be afraid to to just hit it again real quick. Because especially once it start, was already soaked and it kind of already dried, the second layer really just breaks down that glue. So I'm going to go ahead and do this other stripe as well. Oh, and see this one, I wasn't patient enough. And the glue is on the top over here. But then look, it starts to be just the stripe. There's some portion where the, the glue is still on the prime knit. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to scrape that glue off before I remove the rest of the stripe. So that way I can get it all together. And now you see, see how I've scraped that glue towards the stripe? And this one's just being a piece of shit, but it's working. See? Now I got it with the glue. You see the difference? You see how the glue is kind of all... Now it's straight coming off with the glue. Boom. Oh, a little, little chunk down at the bottom. A little chunk of glue. This is good. This is good. I'm glad I'm having some turmoil so you guys don't think I'm doing any tricks over here. Like, oh, he's doing something else. He's making it look too easy. Nah, bruh. I'm having some struggles too. Look at that. The glue kind of flaked away. Like, it just didn't come away that clean. And, yeah, I mean, that's just what happened. That's one out of six stripes, though, you know? Now, this one, I, I re-hit with acetone a minute ago when I hit this one again. So this should be, this should peel off just okay man these ones on this side are serious honestly it's that sock collar when the stripe is up into that knit on the sock collar it's a little tough but now now that i'm off there it's peeling away just fine the other thing too these are brand new gloves make sure if you don't use brand new glove i would recommend just using brand new because if they're not clean if there's any kind of dirt this is gonna, it's gonna get on the prime knit of the shoe and you don't want that so you're doing a lot of scraping and you want to make sure that the gloves are clean. Boom. And now we have all of them off on the inside, all of them off on the outside. Now, once you've got them looking like this, stripes hanging down on both sides, strip in the middle, all removed. It's time to cut them off. You're going to do that with the X-Acto knife. So to remove the stripes, you can pull them up this way and cut here, or you can pull it down this way into the shoe and cut back here. It's really up to you. I kind of switch up my technique depending on the each stripe. Each stripe's a little different. This one, I'm trying to get as deep back behind the block as I can. So I'm gonna go from the back side over here while cutting. Just be really, really careful because you don't want to cut the prime knit. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. No, no, no. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Link up! So what you saying, ho? You know I'm the man, ho? But a bird, I'm a where you stand, ho. The outside's all done. And I mean, if you peel this away, you can really kind of tell where the stripes were. But while they're on your feet from the side, when you're walking, after your feet fill out the prime, you're not going to be able to see anything. Let's move to the inside. Same thing. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Them bricks is way too high. You need to cut it. Cut it. Your price is way too high. You need to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. And just like that, man, bang, there we go. The outside, the inside. And like I said, when you tilt it like that in the light, you can kind of see the stripes there. It shows up on camera, but it does not show up in real life like that. So don't worry. If you think about doing this to your pair, be like, oh, I don't really like that. Trust me, you're not going to see that in real life. It's just the way the light's hitting this with the camera. Even when I look at it from the side like this, I can't see it. I'll throw the laces back in these joints. We'll throw them on feet, and then you can kind of compare. If you own this pair, if you like them better with the stripes, or you like this custom better. Personally, I think they look way better like this. That's just my personal preference. On the other ones, I did a lace swap. On these, I did not. I like the laces that come in these. I think they look good. I think they look good like that. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them this way. But that is about all on these ones, man. Before we take a look at the on feet, thank you so much for watching. Watching, man please click the thumbs up button if this helped you if you like the video again i appreciate you guys supporting the homie edgar's calling me right now so we should just end it i love the shit out of y'all man and i will see you fools thank tomorrow you, you, for out tonight. you can be anywhere in the world you're right here i got my special guest tyler lee man yeah you bringing this all from the keystone state showing the empire state until we run that entire state yeah Sitting in my 97 Honda, Yolanda Be cool, she just wanna go to Benny Honda These fools parking in my motherfucking spot Got a little bit of nerve and a lot of bit of pot I can smell it while she hanging out the passenger side Of her best friend's ride Now she trying just to holler at me No scrap fight, she punched her in the left eye Chicks be getting feisty cause they fighting for the best guy Yeah, I'm bumping Biggie but I never been to bed style Counting all my money in the shoebox at my bedside That's old school, no city bank Got another girl, all she
she listens to is Chitty Bang Everyone around me keep complaining that the city changed Listening to serious radio with the silly face All these bitches hating, yeah, I ought to name them Will and Grace Got a fat chance, I could fill the space I said, please miss, I don't believe it You touched me once, I could feel it Ain't no way that I